Good morning everybody or afternoon or evening. Welcome back Mr. M3 channel. Today we're going to do an overview on some widget configuration. If you don't get this right away that's okay we're going to go more in depth. But this is a brand new environment and brand new widgets and I just imported a page. So there's not a lot of information that you're looking at. And so, but let me just show you the, the top level how these work. These will take place of many reports in your environment and is one of the very powerful things about N4 OS. And this is multi-tenant, true SaaS, M3. So when I go into and I click on orders and order stop and it says, hey, there's three of them, I click on it and it's going into a specific view that shows you the three orders that are on credit stop. And that's really handy. It takes you right back to the exact spot in the system. So let's peel back the covers a little bit and let me show you how that works. So the first half of it, it's getting this tally. It's looking somewhere and saying, hey, I'm looking for three orders. Then the second half is when I click on it, what happens? Where do I go? So when I go up here, I'm going to configure it. Now on yours, if you click the three dots and you don't see configure, you're working on a published home page and you're going to need to make a duplicate of the page and then work off of your copied page. So if this was a published page and I don't have that option, I could go up to these three dots and say duplicate page. It'll create a copy and you can work with that copy. So let's look at configure. This monitor refreshes every 15 minutes and I'm going to hit this pencil icon. Here I'm naming it. The severity indication, that's what controls what color it is at what level. So this is the tally piece where it's calculating, hey, there's three of these that I'm going to publish there. It's looking at the OIS 100 MI, which is a standard API. Don't worry about it if you don't understand that right now. I'm just showing you how this works. It's making a simple API call. It's looking at the headers of the orders, and you don't need to remember these. You can browse and find these APIs right within the monitor. And then there's a search string query that's essentially looking at enterprise search and a simple query that's looking at, hey, give me all the credit stops, one to six, in the status zero, zero to 97. So this is how the system knows that there's three published there. Now, what do you do when you click on it? Well, that's the primary action. We want to open it. And then we need a bookmark. And when we go to the bookmark, we're going to say go to OIS 300. That table is OO head. And if you don't know the table, you can hit get and it'll auto populate that. Go to sort order four, view stop. And then that same query is here. And that's it. In a later video, I'll actually configure one of these. I want to put together a dynamic aging for a customer of mine specifically. So they'll have drill backs for invoices that are past due and they can drill directly right back into it. And in a nutshell, that's pretty much how the monitors work. You can set these up for any number of programs, any number of tables, and they take the place of a lot of reports and emails within your system. Pretty powerful stuff. The last thing I want to show you is how to import and export home pages. This is great. Maybe someone in your department has configured the perfect home page and you want everybody to have it. Or you go to Inforum, you meet someone running M3, they're bragging about their amazing home page, much like my home page I show in the other video, and they give it to you. Well, guess what? You can import that directly in there if you want to. So I'm going to go over to a different environment and take my home page and then import it into this environment. So this is my second window here. This is a completely different environment. How do you do that? Well, I have multiple Google profiles. That's how I can have multiple instances if I so wanted to without the, the web browser getting confused. If you saw my other video, then this is going to look really familiar to you and everything works. To export it, it is as easy as going to advance and saying export page. Creates a .json file and then all you need to do is go to your other environment and import it. Import page. Here it is right here. 
import. Bam! Just like that, here you go. Now, there's some differences, right? I don't have any documents. If I bounce over to my other one, I have lots of documents. Why is that? Well, because this is pulling from the document repository in for document management in this environment. These particular documents I don't have loaded in my other environment. I will show you how to configure this document management widget on another video, but for now, everything else here works. I don't have a lot of data because this is a brand new environment, but all of these widgets, if, if they're working here, they're going to be working here. Well, thanks again for this quick video. I like to keep them under five to 10 minutes if possible because hey, time is money. Make sure you like, subscribe, share. The more traction, the more people that have knowledge, the better it is for the entire M3 community. Thanks so much.